Hey guys, welcome back to my channel once again, Kenro here. Now today, we're finally kicking off in style our renovation project for our ground floor, kitchen and living room. Today we'll be hitting the ground running with some demolition, removing some floor tiles, as well as receiving the delivery for the new kitchen. Okay guys, so it's day one of our ground floor renovations and the builders are on site. Now we've been living in the building site for the past two days as I started to prep and to remove a lot of the tiles and a lot of the flooring um, as well as unpack all the stuff from the living room and in the kitchen. Now we've got a small ground floor and we want to maximize the space and the aesthetics of the place. And so Safa and I, we've decided that we're going to be doing some renovations um, completely gutting the floor, taking everything up, the old cobbled tiles, um, the old quarry tiles shall I say, along with the wooden floors, it all got to go. And we're going to be putting down some newer, more traditional, um, with a retro um, art deco style tile on the floor. So I'm hoping that it will look nice, we certainly like the design, it's very different. But um, yeah, so I'm sure there's going to be obstacles and different challenges such as the depth of the floor, the old tiles were so thick. Um, that we're going to be at a deficit so we're going to have to figure out how we're going to backfill that hopefully get some insulation down um, underneath the tiles which would be great now if I had enough time I probably would have tried to get some underfloor heating but um, time and cost I think it's best for me to just be practical and um, forget about that for now it would have been nice to have some underfloor heating especially in an old cold cottage but um, you know you're going to make compromises so um, today we're going to spend the rest of the afternoon probably clearing all of the flooring. Um, I did my best with the girls. Obviously I'm home alone still. Sophia's still in the hospital sadly. So I've been flying solo, um, trying to balance, looking after the girls with um, you know the school run and nursery and everything in between, um, providing lunch, food and you know all of those stuff um, and you know trying to get rid of all of the tiles on the floor as well as empty you know all the furniture and everything else so I think I've done pretty well so today I'm going to give the builders a hand um, try and capture some of the footage of the work that they'll be doing and figure out a plan moving forward so I hope you're enjoying this renovation video and this series um, we're so excited and nervous about it at the same time um, and I hope that you really enjoy it and hopefully you can get some inspiration if you're thinking of doing something similar Also, I must say that Sophia hopefully will be coming home today from the hospital So I will have to go and pick her up at some point if they do discharge her. She's doing a bit better uh, But not out of the woods yet still in a lot of pain So I reckon I'm gonna have to be her nurse and everything um, when she gets home. So Yeah, it's gonna be very interesting living in a building site with a sick patient, but I'll do my best Thanks again for all your warm wishes and um, I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, so even though I was able to remove as much of the floor tiles as possible, there were still some that needed to be removed in the corner, which the builder happily helped me with. And now here you can see one of the builders playing a joke on me. Now of course it's good to have a bit of fun and a bit of laugh. Unfortunately, the fun and the laugh was at my expense. <laughs> so what you can actually see me removing right here is the lime mortar which was used to actually hold down the quarry tiles that we've now removed. It's important to get rid of this before we can do the new flooring. Finally getting rid of this old breakfast bar. Whoever thought it was a great idea to tile this. So here you can see us trying to remove this breakfast table which served us really well actually. The only downside to this breakfast table is the fact that they've actually tiled the top of it and as you know with tiles once you get food into the grout it's almost impossible to remove it. So we spent forever and a day trying to clean this thing every single day. Now of course because it was covered in tiles it weighed a ton. And Sophia too was glad to see it gone even though it served us well. It's a nice carcass though, uh, old but you destroyed that. So, too much strength. Okay. Too much acinal sawfish. Too carried away. Uh, 
Hi mate. Alright, good Yeah, not too bad. Good How many boxes are we, are we thinking? We think it's a uh, year lot. Yeah. We think it's that one. Okay, cool. So after going to Ren Kitchen Showroom, by now we're able to choose the kitchen that we like and we were able to receive the delivery today. Once we placed the order, within a week, Ren was able to deliver the kitchen to us. Now we had a lot of fun choosing the kitchen. Now if you haven't seen our video of us choosing our kitchen, I'll put a link above for you to check it out so that you can see what the experience is like actually going to a Ren Kitchen Showroom before purchasing. Okay, so um, we actually got quite a bit done the first few hours of this morning. What time is it now? It's just gone quarter past 12. The builders got here around 8.30. Um, I did the school run, dropped the kids to school. Once I dropped the kids to school, I came back and I figured um, there's quite a lot to do in removing the floor, um, the rest of the mortar that was on the floor and some of the tiles. So I thought, you know, I'll get stuck in, um, give them a hand, to, to make the job a lot quicker. And we managed to get quite a lot done actually. Well, we've removed the majority of the tile except for the ones that are underneath um, the worktops, you know, the cupboards and stuff. Once we remove the cupboards, then we'll be able to get those up. But everywhere else is pretty much um, clear. Uh, the living room, um, the section on the other side I'll show you um, is all gone. So we originally had done up to here, going around to underneath the stairs. But um, the fireplace in front of it, if you can remember, there was like a, a plinth with some slightly different tiles on there. And underneath that was the original quarry tiles. One, I was trying to remove the floorboards, there's some of them actually cracked and broke. So we figured it might as well just remove them all. So everything is absolutely being dug up. Um, the tiles seem to have gone all the way underneath the fireplace. So obviously there's no chance of us going under there and removing those. Um, and messing with the fly fireplace um, also over here in the corner which was an absolute headache to get all of this up but eventually one of the builders um, took over and, and finished that up so all the flooring is pretty much up except for this area which has a timber frame now I don't know exactly what's under here yet but we, we're not going to disturb that for now uh, so yeah the, the floor is, is really strange because there's so many different levels like it's a lot, um, it's a bit deeper there than here and we didn't want to actually try and, you know, mess all of this up uh, because as you come into the kitchen, it's like one level, but then it's a bit deeper out there. So yeah, we also got the, some of the tiles off the wall and um, we're making good progress. Now I was just trying to make a plan with the builder as to what we're going to do, how we're going to proceed. Um, I would spoke to Sophia earlier on and she's actually going to be um, staying in hospital at least for another day. Um, the consultants have come around and, and seen her and they realise that she's still struggling to walk, she's still in a lot of pain. So rather than send her home to basically suffer and try and have me look after her by myself, they're going to keep her in um, to try and see if she'll recover a bit more. So in a way that's a good thing because then I can sort of crack on with what we're doing here and hopefully make some good progress so that when she comes home at least the floor will be a bit um, more level for her to walk on. So I've just spoke with the builders and they were going to get some of the plywood, the ply sheet in which we're going to be using to lay on the floor to get it level, um, local to where they're from. Now they're from Gloucester and it's a bit of a distance away from where we live. But I've managed to phone Travis Perkins and turns out that I can actually get the plywood cheaper um, there rather than this other place that he normally gets it from. Um, all I had to do was create a, a trade account in my name, funnily enough. So I'm now officially a trader. So I'm hoping that we can get it at the price. 35, well it's 30 pounds before tax um, with the trade account or 35 I think um, if you don't have a trade account. But either way it's still pretty competitive. So it's just your normal rough plywood, it's nothing special. Um, the cost of materials is absolutely through the roof. You know, so anyone that's doing any building works make sure you have a extra amount of money lying around because it's expensive i mean i'm hoping that this project will come to budget 
Um, there's still a few variables, especially with the flooring. So we're gonna put some battens down and try and get that to a certain level. And then we're gonna put the plywood on top and that's what we're going to then put the tiles on top so a lot of work to try and raise um, the floor back up but hopefully we'll get there um, the guys seem to know what they're talking about so you know i'm just going based on what they said obviously um, i do want to do something with these walls and i want to do it before we get everything done and dusted i, I don't want to have to get you know a lot of dust up in the air again so once the tiling and the kitchen is done before everything is you know um, put back to how it was I'll speak to them about you know maybe removing this wallpaper if I can't replaster it if it's going to be too expensive too messy and not worth it then I might actually put some new wallpaper on there something new something fresh um, so we can uh, we can paint it because it's got a lot of dinks a lot of knocks where the kids have been peeling the wallpaper so it will be nice to, to spruce it up because no point having a nice new floor and everything looking good and then the walls just look really tatty so um yeah i think that's that's what we'll we'll discuss after the main works have been done so to speak um so you know we've got just wallpaper ripped off and all sorts going on but yeah so good progress so far um on the first day let's hope it continues without any snags i'm absolutely covered in dust still but oh yeah i forgot to say that the kitchen was actually delivered <laughs> the funny thing is the guys came and delivered the kitchen while we were in the full swing of removing all of the flooring and they actually drove away and then moments later they came back because they forgot the oven on the back of the van oh well on the lorry so that was quite funny so he came back and dropped it off um so yeah the kitchen is delivered which is nice so that's the new oven there and the kitchen and the boards Let's see if i get this light on now that's the worktop i believe we went for a similar worktop to what we've got now quite like the one that we have now so we thought we would just kind of replace it rather than getting something completely different now it's not marble so um you know we've got to work within our budget and yeah here are all the boxes now i'm actually kind of surprised of just how many they are to be honest <laughs> um i was hoping to have more space in here to be able to you know put them together and start the process of putting them together but as you can see with this and the and the sofa and everything else that was moved out of the house kind of short on space but we'll get there i'm not worrying about that right now the main thing is just to get the flooring done um, so that we can have this space to, to, to start moving the project forward. Okay, so the builders have just left and gone on for the day. Um, they're calling in an early one today because they're going to get some more materials um, so they can come back early tomorrow and start um, laying the floor um, by that I mean they're going to be putting down some um, roofing slats which are like thin pieces of timber they're going to be filling that with some Celitex which is I think is some form of insulation around one inch thick and that's to help provide um, a bit more warmth on the tiles to prevent moisture coming up from the uh, concrete not that um, there's any signs of damp or anything but just as a safety precaution uh, today we went and got the plywood uh, which is sort of like your, your, your standard rough plywood which is then going to be laid on top of that um, to make the, a level base before the tiles can then be um, fixed to that base. So overall a very productive morning I would say, everything's going well and if you are somebody that is looking to do um, any building project like this just bear in mind that um, the materials, the price of things have really skyrocketed. I mean, a sheet of this cost me 40, give or take maybe 40 pounds. Um, so yeah, um, it's pretty expensive. So if you're new to this channel, guys, please go ahead and subscribe. The main reason for us doing this is to encourage you and hopefully you'll be inspired if you've got a similar project coming up. As always, this is Ken Roy saying, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Cut this wire, man. Go on then. <laughs>